Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna start doing some things throughout the middle of the week because I feel like I've got a lot of news and I've got a lot of little bits to throw out there that I think will help me learn so that you guys will have more opportunities to give me advice and teach me, help me progress. Um, so a little more interactivity. And I figured doing something short instead of my half hour plus long diatribes, I can do some little quick things in between. There will always be a build video. I will always be building something. Um, so the, the Saturday thing will stay. I won't change a thing about that. The whole concept here is to get more short term or or near term content together that's less contained as a set. It's more of a just, here's what's going on right now kind of thing. Or, hey, I got a question right now. Cause that one when I did the neck uh, angle thing for the three, or for the double O was really helpful. You guys helped me decide to put a shim in. So I want to kind of keep that. That interaction helped me a lot. It helped me learn. So that's the kind of stuff I want to do. A bunch has been going on. So the double O build. I just posted, you'll see it today, the 25th episode of the double O build. I think there's probably three episodes to get you current with today. We're currently in the process of finishing it. Um, right now it's got pore filler on and it's waiting for me to sand it. I haven't touched it in about a month. Let me give you some updates about life and where things are going and what things are going, what, what's going on. Last July, I took a sabbatical from my job. I was programming web applications for about 17 years. Kind of got a little burnt out. And I think my interests are heading in other direction. And so it's been a little while since I've actually done any like actual work and brought any income in, which has kind of made my wife a tiny bit nervous. So I am um, sort of exploring some things, see what I wanted to do. Early on, I started exploring. There's this place in town called Hacker Lab, and they're like a little maker space. They're basically my brain in building form. They have like programming classes, they have 3D printers, a dark room, a metal shop, wood shop, all kinds of cool stuff. And they reached out looking for a woodworking instructor. They said that I could teach building guitars. And so if you're in the Sacramento area, I'm working with them to put together some kind of a guitar building class. And right, really right now, just looking at a solid body like Strat, we'd buy a neck and just try to put together just the woodworking aspects of gluing up a slab and making a body style, like a Strat style, because that gives you a lot of basic woodworking sort of fundamental stuff. We're gonna put that together sometime in the new year, so stay tuned for that. Um, you've seen some of the videos on my channel where I make branding irons out of brass on the CNC. About three weeks ago, I opened an Etsy store to sell those with fairly limited options. And it kind of took off like gangbusters. In two weeks, I did 40 branding irons. So that's really cool, and it's kind of earning a little, little bit of cash to keep my wife kind of happy. And I kind of geeked out a lot on like the mass production side of things, like making handles or preparing the brass as far as I could before an order came in, and did as little as possible when an order came in so they'd come out quick. And then, you know, like shipping stuff, like just getting packing together, like I in the house, right behind you, in fact, is my little shipping center. What I'm thinking is, uh, when the guitar's finished, I know that a lot of you watch for the guitar builds, and I'm just not gonna be building that many guitars that frequently. I'm probably gonna go another year before I do another guitar. Unless this class comes on along, then with the class, I might show some of that too. But, I mean, for the most part, I build a lot of things, not just guitars. And the wife has some needs for the house. We're gonna do some end tables or nightstands for the bedroom. Um, and I think we'll do those in Walnut. So I gotta work through the design phase of that. Um, so that's kind of where I am. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me go know what you guys would like me to talk about if you have subjects you want me to cover, anything like that. I'm happy to talk, you guys know that. So that's kind of where it is. Uh, I just wanna say Merry Christmas to you guys. Every one of you, I just crossed 6,000 subscribers the other day and that blows my mind that there are more than 6,000 people willing to at least know when I put something up. Some of you guys tell me, You've sat through the entire 335 build, and that's 26 hours, fellas. That's a lot of video. Holy crap, you guys are awesome. I love that, thank you. Yeah, I'm rambling now, so. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Thank you all. I love having this feedback. I like this forum where I can share the information. This is a big deal for me, so I really appreciate that there are people out there that enjoy this, and your feedback is amazing, you help me stay with it. Merry Christmas guys. Uh, go make it and let's get after it. Oh, I forgot to pull the flap out. Pull the flap out. Snazzy brown bathrobe, because it's Christmas Eve, and I ain't gonna put on pants. That was weird. <laughs>